Impact of Managua has been working in Nicaragua for three years and we've been having lots of programs and lots of knowledge and lots of experiences and also lots of learnings. Right now we are in a revision model because we scale our programs at a regional level. And now our vision is becoming the hub for innovation and access to financial inclusion in the region. We want to help these companies that they are struggling to find financing and support to grow their companies and to access new markets and to strengthen their business model and overall impact their communities. So, so we're working towards that and with the help of ADA and other partners, we are sure we're going to make it. Definitely, we have identified two challenges. The first one was setting up the fund, which we achieved, but we are needing more resources and capital for the YES Fund to provide financing to more entrepreneurs. The good part is that we are now having the trust. We have an escrow account and we're open for more investors. We already have secured some financing, but it's not enough for all the pipeline that we have. We have identified great companies with great business models that they're ready to grow and access new market, but they need this financing to make that happen. And that's why we're also actively looking for new investors and impact investors so that they can support directly the YES Fund and we can provide this support to these companies across Central America and the Caribbean. The second challenge we find is investment readiness. We have great companies, but none of them are ready for receiving investment. That's why we want to help this company to get ready, strengthen their business case, and also help, helping them to set up all the legal documentation so that they don't have any problem with the bank. Once we have overcome these two challenges, we're ready to scale the, the YES Fund across the region and helping more companies make the Central American and Caribbean region a more dynamic ecosystem.